Well, growing safety concerns tonight surrounding Boeing 737 jets after the deadly crash in Ethiopia. The aircraft now linked to two deadly crashes in less than five months. In the latest incident yesterday, the flight had just taken off when the pilot reported technical difficulties. The plane crashed shortly after killing all 157 people on board. The Boeing fleet has been grounded in some countries, but why not in the U.S.? Local 24 News reporter Alexandra Limon has the reason from our exclusive Washington Bureau. Eight Americans were among the victims of the Ethiopia Airlines plane crash that killed all 157 people on board. People who either lived here or were here to work and to contribute to the development of this continent. Uh, eight inspiring lives. In less than six months, two Boeing 737 MAX 8 jets have crashed within minutes after taking off. You can understand why countries, airlines, and, and, and flyers are saying, you know, what's going on here. Seth Kaplan is an aviation expert expert and journalist. China, Indonesia, Ethiopia and some international airlines have grounded the 737 MAX 8 jets. Uh, the U.S. airlines and the FAA so far uh, seem to be kind of taking a technical approach and saying, look, we don't see a specific reason to ground this fleet, so we're not doing it. In a statement, Boeing said in part, safety is our number one priority and we're taking every measure to fully understand all aspects of this accident. Based on the information available, we do not have any basis to to issue new guidance to operators. A statement from the Airline Pilots Association cautions people against guessing what may have caused the crash. And the FAA today issued a continued airworthiness notification for the Boeing 737 MAX 8 jets, meaning that for now, they believe the jets are safe. There's obviously a lot at stake uh, for these airlines, not only in terms of safety, but in terms of their businesses too. Kaplan says public pressure could play a role in whether the United States ultimately grounds the fleet, even temporarily. Reporting from Washington, I'm Alexandra Limon, Local 24 News.